Hi, this is Bumbleberry. Welcome to the game Freak Quincy. And we're going to test it out. It's a visual novel. And it's supposed to have different choices and different boyfriends and stuff. So um, we're going to see if we like it. It's compared to the Persona series. I love Persona. It's way too long for us to play A young here. man around the age of 17 was found dead at Harrison Park yesterday. The cause of death is still unknown. Is it going to automatically play? No? Okay. Judging from the frequency pin he was wearing, the authorities are speculating that this was yet another frequency serial killer victim, making him the 10th victim of this week. Okay. Therefore, frequency players are advised not to wear any pins or symbols of the game. Stores are also banned from selling the popular RPG virtual reality game. However, those precautions do not seem to help the already. Oh. Hi, Sonya. Oh, I'm Sonia. I'm the, like, blonde girl. Okay. Uh, Mary-chan. Mary suddenly hugged you tightly, distracting you from the TV. She reached up, trying to hug you around your neck. Whoa. Back up, girl. The difference in height, however, inevitably forced her to slid down to your waist. Okay. As you all know, I am obsessed with grammar most of the time. And, um, I'm gonna try to let it go right now. I'm just, I'm gonna try... There are no promises, of course, but I will do my very best. So I'm going to just automatically correct it. Force her to slide down your waist. <laughs> so what are you looking for? Are you going to buy something? No, I was just paying attention to the news. Anyway, where's Lily? Aww. It's broken. It's kind of weird. It's like a mix of voice acted and not. I don't know quite how to take it. And right up. On cue, Lily went out of the store, opening the door rather hastily, smashing into a man's face behind her. The man rubbed his nose while walking away, glaring at the girl, yet Lily seemed too dejected to notice. What's wrong, Lee chan Everything alright? Sadly, no. The cost to repair my phone is just too expensive. It's better for me to buy a new one. I barely have enough for that, though. I just bought this cell phone two months ago. You have yourself to blame. Why? Who? What? Who dropped it in the toilet? What? <laughs> How do I respond to that? It's not like that was on purpose. It was my little brother. He took my phone while I wasn't looking and dropped it into the toilet. He's four. I can't blame him. Sadly, I can't ask him to buy me a new phone either. Oh, the woes of being the eldest sibling. <laughs> Mary continued teasing while Lily just wore a crooked smile. It's amazing to see that these two are friends. They are such opposites. Lily, older sister of five siblings, is bubbly and childish. Well, opposites do attract, plus their contradicting personalities and quarreling are actually the things you or I like most about them. Okay, I'm not doing that good with the grammar. My phone is ringing. Shocking. Um, Mom? Hello? Sonia, are you out of school yet? Where are you right now? Uh, I'm in front of the E-Pair, that electronics store near school. What is it? Do you want me to buy you anything? Your school is in the middle of a shopping and entertainment district. Malls, cafes, theaters, everything, everything, whatever. No. No, it's about your brother. Huh? What about him? Well, he borrowed one of your dad's suits last week, and your dad needs it for tomorrow's presentation. He calls it his lucky suit. You know how he is. Anyway, I kept calling him, asking him to return it, but he never picks up. He hasn't been visiting lately either, which is odd, since usually he visits at least twice a month. Yeah, that's true. Actually, I've been wondering about that, too. Your brother lived in a small apartment close by his company, which is also near your school. He could actually afford a bigger one, but he said he didn't need that much space. He's 23, still single. <coughs> Quite handsome. Your friends who not had seen him often say so sometimes even asking you for his picture how creepy is that he also visited often bringing flowers or sweets for you and mom he usually texted you from time to time but he hasn't done so recently um maybe he finally got himself a girlfriend could you please go check on him he might be sick or something use the subway it's only a stop from your school right okay no problem thanks mother is my name Sonia with two N's, or is everyone just really intent on dragging my name out? Um, oh, your brother works at the Orange Company, right? That's why you have their new phone? Yeah, I was shocked too when I saw Sonia. The spender was able to buy that expensive thing. What? Hey, I don't waste that much money. Most of the time I'm broke because you two owe me money. 
Besides, this is actually a prototype. My brother is in the product development department, and he says this one didn't quite live up to its expectations. I find it a waste throwing it away, so I asked if I could keep it, and he let me. Police car, cops are everywhere. Um, oh my gosh. Those strange animal attacks keep going on, as well as the frequency victims. Sheesh, I wonder what kind of person kills frequency players. Um, what did that game ever do to him? How do you know it's a man? If he ever lays a hand on my demon, he's dead. Is it diamond? Demon? I don't know. Someone. Oh, diamond's a fan of that game. Yeah, lately all he does is put on his virtual reality goggles and play. Hmm. Well, anyway, you should get going soon, yeah? That's right. It's getting dark soon, and you wouldn't want to keep your mother waiting. You don't mind? Okay. See you tomorrow, then. You left them and headed to your brother's apartment. I am guessing there will be some craziness. Brother isn't picking up his phone. That's odd. Usually his cell phone's always turned on. He must be asleep or something. Sometimes he takes naps at these hours. You should let him rest. Brother's apartment. Fourth floor. Brother's room. Ah, here it is. Brother, are you in there? It's Sonia. Brother. Bro. <gasps> Shut the F up! Who are you? Quit bothering me! What? Who is this guy? Sorry, are you brother's colleague? I'm his sister, Sonia. Is he asleep or something? Huh? Brother, look, you must have gotten the wrong room, kid. I just moved in here last month. I don't have any roommates, either. Huh? Moved in, but room 431... This must be a mistake. This is Milo's apartment. No doubt about it. <laughs> You're calling me a liar? This guy needs to chillax with the all caps. What's with all the noise? Oh, hello, potential love interest. Ah, Sonia Chen. You know this girl? She's causing the ruckus. Talk to her. Wait, who is he? I'm guessing you're not my brother. Well, who are you then? Forgotten me already? I'm Rio. I live right next door to your brother. We once met, remember? Oh, yeah, right. Rio. That is such a fake name. Maybe it's not actually a fake name, but look at his dog tags. Rio-san, did my brother move out? What? You didn't know? He moved three weeks ago. He left his phone here, though. I thought you, you're here to pick it up. What? Do you know where he lives now? No clue. Before he moved, I heard he just got fired. I assumed he couldn't afford the place and went to his parents' house. You're saying he's not? No, and he lost his job. What? But, but, but what? What? Um, so he was friendly. It's not like him. Um, and let me go get his phone. Uh, it's dead. He didn't charge it, huh? I'm sorry. I can't help you more than that. I really don't know anything. Do your parents know about this? My, right, mom and dad. You don't think they know? Oh, she wasn't talking to him. Or maybe she was. I don't know. With trembling fingers, you reached down to your pocket and pulled out your phone. Hello? Mom? Telling your parents that their son was gone for about three weeks wasn't easy. They didn't believe you at first, but after calling Brother's workplace, there was no denying it. He's gone. And you, you and your parents went to the police to issue a mis missing persons report. I bet Bro's gonna be a victim. After that, they went searching on their own, and you were told to stay home in case he decided to come back. He would have to come back eventually, wouldn't he? Wouldn't he? You can now click on your phone to look at stats and save the game. You can also right-click your mouse to save. You charged your brother's phone. There weren't many recent messages. It seemed like he erased all of his data, including previous messages and contact lists. Very suspicious. Um, so I have classes. Maybe I should skip school? <gasps> you shouldn't exactly let your um, parents find the brother on their own. No, that's a bad idea. Someone at school might have seen brother somewhere in town recently, right? Oh my gosh, I thought that was my actual phone. That was kind of terrifying. Brother's phone vibrated. One new message. The sender is unknown. 
frequency tonight at Birch Park. Use the east entrance. Fight until dawn as usual. Be there. Wait, brother is a frequency player? They never told you anything about that. He never showed any interest in games, either. Birch Park is only a couple blocks away. But if my parents come home before I do, I'll... I'll risk it! Look at me being all sassy. I just hope it's worth it. Let's go find him. Interesting. Interesting. Those are pretty CGs, actually. Birch Park. You faintly heard something that sounded like clapping? Where was it coming from? Which way? Let's go... West. No, I'll go east, whatever. Nothing here. Wait. Guy is standing near the lake. Ask if he's seen anything. What do you, why would you say nothing? Excuse me, are you... Unknown contact. He left. It felt like you had seen him somewhere before. Was he the guy in my brother's apartment? Hello? You saw a large crowd of people up ahead. They're circling around something. You went closer. What? Welcome to Frequency! Lots of people were cheering. <laughs> Two men were facing each other. Ooh, a fight. Ooh, look at them be all fancy. Now, boys, I'm going to make this clean and simple. Last one standing, or at least breathing, wins. Fight! Frequency! Whoa. Hello. The eye from Laite is back. AI, were you imagining things? Two large monsters appeared out of nowhere. One of them was a large blob, and the other a deformed bird. Frequency is a simulation game, right? So, how could it look so real? How could you see it? Was the whole area a game zone, a hologram, or what? Those creatures started to battle each other. It all looked so real. Then the winner gets the other one's apartment! <laughs> One of the fighters is acting weird. He seems to be losing balance, kneeling to the floor. What? Why are you freaking out, bro? What's going on? He wasn't even hit yet, but he seemed to be in a lot of pain. Um, this creature started to squirm? Oh snap, he lost control. <gasps> Uh-oh, he's not in control of his thing? Yeah! I never know what to do with that sound effect. Oh my gosh, am I covered in blood? What just happened? It's on top of you. Your body. It hurts. Oh my gosh. It's like your bones, they're breaking. Ah! Uh, if this keeps up, you'll die. What? I can help you, you know. What? Where's the voice coming from? Your phone? Has it been vibrating this whole time? I just need you to say those words. You know what, don't you? <gasps> Why am I bleeding? Blood started to accumulate in your throat. You coughed it out. You didn't know what to do. You're blacking out. Well. Freak. Quincy. Uh, things are happening. A bright light emanated from your phone and somehow forced the creature on top of you away. Your body felt light and good. You were able to sit up. The oozing blood on your body remained, yet your wounds seemed to be healing. It took you a while, princess. Mm. I don't know how I feel about him. Are those his wings? Who? What are you? <laughs> Your guardian angel in black, of course, but you can call me Jackal. I just literally read a book about a character named Jackal. Um, it's called Red Rising in that book. It's amazing! I mean, it's like Hunger Games, but with older people in space, so I don't know. Um, well, looks like we have some unfinished business, princess. Let's have some fun. Yeah, sure, why not? I like fun. Somehow you managed to defeat the thing. Your body was covered in sweat and you couldn't stop panting. That was scary. Um, not bad. We'll see you around, princess. Growing electrical current surrounded you. That thing, Jackal, just disappeared into your cell phone. What the heck is going on? Hello? Hello? What did you do to Milo? What? A girl suddenly grabbed the collar of your jacket. Oh, it's a girl. She looked mad. Don't play dumb. That was Jackal, Milo's frequency. What did you do? Did you kill him? Kill? What? Milo? You mean Milo? As in my brother? Brother? Don't joke with me. Calm down, Nana-san. Oh, okay. 
A girl with pink hair and provocative, oh gosh, apparel approached us. Can't you see the girl is terrified? Who, who are you? She's Utana in another universe. I can ask you the same question. I haven't seen you around here before. Sonia. Sonia Gray. I'm my little sister. Sonia Gray? I'm Crystal Reed, and the lady with the eternal frown etched on her face is Nana-san. Oh, okay. That's fine. You mentioned Milo's name, so you know him, right? I love how she just appears and doesn't say anything. <laughs> the cowboy and the fancy pants. Actually, if she dyed her hair all purple, she could be. In. I don't know. I'm going to stop with my revolutionary girl, Utena. That was my favorite anime as a youngin. Forgive my fangirling. We do know him, but how can we make sure you're really Milo's sister? But I am. No one has heard from him for three weeks, and my family just found out today. Please, if there's anything you know about him, just tell me. Hmm, sorry, but it takes a lot more than that to convince me. Nana-san, why don't you use that little trick on her to make sure? Of what? It's easy for you to say. You know what it's at stake when I do that. Oh, come on. <laughs> What's the point of having powers if you don't use them? What's dangerous? Um, lots of things. I never wanted this. No sane person would. I don't seem to mind. Like I said, no sane person would. Oh, sassiness. She's grabbing my wrist. Why? Why are you touching me? No choice. What are you... Oh, no, thank you. Sonia, age 16. Milo's sister. She's telling the truth. Um... What did you do? How did you do that? What did you do? How did you do that? She also just got her frequency today. Ooh, a lost duckling. My, my, looks like we owe you a lot of answers then, huh? Duckling? Well, and about my friend. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, I'm serious. Police sirens. This is the police. You are all guilty of trespassing. I know. I do it all the time. Apparently. Um, they're quicker than usual. Oh, come on, we've got to run. Follow me. Uh, okay. Ooh, a club. Let's go dancing. You followed Crystal and Nana to a nearby club. Somehow they've managed to get you in without an ID. You sit with them at one of the booths. Ooh, waiter. Drinks. Three Cosmopolitans. Put it on my tab. Don't you mean two? One of us isn't exactly the right age to consume alcohol, don't you think? Oh, come on. Stop being so uptight. She's what? Fifteen? Sixteen. But only four years short. Then come on, have a drink. Oh my gosh, that's ridiculous. Um, I don't really know you. So... Thank you. In real life, I don't drink either. Oh, I don't be shy. Crystal, seriously? Two Cosmos and some mineral water. Thanks. Got it. The waiter left our booth. Well, while we wait, go ahead, ask. Go ahead, Sonia. Ask away. What exactly is Frequency? It's basically a game. Not the highly realistic RPG people know about, but I mean, it, it, it's a real game held by only who knows who. <laughs> it's a fighting tournament for the ultimate prize. Ultimate prize! Our salvation. Medicine that was said to be able to get rid of those creatures from us. Those creatures? That creature that went in your phone? We have them too. With different appearances and powers, yeah, but all the same. Monsters. Powerful monsters. Where are they from? How they got here? We don't know. We do know that they show up around any electronic devices, like your cell phone, for example. And also what they want, which is... Us. How are you so calm about this? They're parasites. I guess that's the best term for them. They seem to need a host, us, to live in this world. They form a one-sided contract with our physical being, a contract we have no choice to reject. Well, technically, it's not completed without our approval. When you were attacked, a voice rang in your head offering you help, yes. Yeah. Well, that's how it works. 
They save us entire time, saving our lives, and all they want is to take it for themselves. I got mine when I was mugged, being choked to death. What? What? Who, when they're mugging someone, tries to choke them to death? That seems very, like, not useful. My cell phone started ringing with a voice in my head saying it could save my life. I said yes, and here I am. We call them freaks. People who are their oaths, us. We call them Quincy's. Well, Quincy can control a freak and the power and the control things, yes. Um, they need food, and each has a different kind of diet. Mine is a mental type. It basically gradually eats my sanity until I go crazy. So I hope you excuse my weird behavior, winky face. <laughs> there are about four types of freaks we know about. Ent, ENT, which is basically eats away a person's sanity. Mem, which takes away the host's memory. I don't want that one. Tal, which takes our talents, intelligence, or skills. I don't want any of these. Oh, excuse me. And DE, or dead end, which basically takes away someone's life. Once a freak forms a bond with a host, it won't choose another host until the host has nothing more to give. And brother, he was a Quincy? He played frequency as well? Yep. That's how the three of us met. We teamed up, whoever wins get a share of the medicine. And Brother's Freak was... We don't know for sure, but we suspect it's a DE type. The one that takes a person's life? Doesn't that mean... He's dead, isn't he? That's the problem with Sonia. Oh wait, that's the problem. Sonia... Wait, what? I cannot read right now. Um... That's the problem. Jackal, your freak, was Milo's freak. The one that takes someone's life. And if that's so, you're saying he's dead and I'm about to die too. Yay! I'll die when Jackal's finished with me. Um, I don't believe you. Isn't there a cure or something? Can I simply not use medicine? Uh, okay. We know that we could be devoured any time. Using your freak doesn't seem to affect anything. Okay. It's going to happen, but there is hope. Like we said, Frequency is a fighting tournament that offers medicine to separate our freaks from us. We battle using our freaks. Then what? The winner takes it all. No one's won yet. That medicine is still within our reach. Why isn't it mass produced yet? Good idea. Don't the government cops or doctors know about this? If they did know, none of this would be going on till now. Well, technically, one cop I know does, but he has his reasons not to spread it around. Oh my gosh. If you want to survive, you have to fight. Okay, so I'll have to fight. I think it's a dream. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm running away. Should we go after her and waste a good Cosmo? No way. Crystal. Whoa, slow down. Are you okay? I'm fine. You sure? You seem a bit frazzled, and you're shaking. I lightly touched your hand. Uh, what do you want? Whoa, I was just making sure you're alright. Saw you coming in with Crystal and Nana. They're not exactly a great crowd to hang with. Yeah, well... Hmm? Seemed like you had a rough night. Do you need anything? I don't know if I should leave. I mean, he seems creepy. I mean, who wear- is that a scarf? Is that like a turtleneck? Do we know? Um... I don't- I guess I'm fine? You sure? You should get home and rest. The exit is that way. Thanks. No problem. You run back home as quickly as possible. So we met at least two, potentially three or four of the five. Um, I'm going to sleep. Wake up. What? Wake up. Ow. Oh, hi! Who are you? Man, how long do you humans need to sleep? That was my face. Who? You're like five years old. What is wrong with you? What? A kid? Who are you? Jackal, your devilish knight in black, remember? This is my human form. Why are you so cute? Um... I don't know what to say. I don't I don't know. why are you so cute? Are you killed brother? I don't I don't know. Um you killed my brother. <laughs> so hostile. 
Maybe I did kill your brother. Maybe I didn't. Got any proof? Well, I just want to show off my form, really, in case you forgot what happened last night. <laughs> See you around. There's a flash of bright light and electrical currents. Jacko went back into your phone. Wait, I... Oh, I have so many questions. My mom's like, um, what happened to your brother? Don't worry about him. We talked to the police yesterday. Don't worry about him, but ask everyone what's going on. Though you can do both, madam. But I think we're going to go to school. But I think it's been too long. Um, yeah, let's see, browse some emails. Uh, okay, that's cool. My bookshelf. Nothing good is on TV. Um, no, it's fine, whatever. So my mom's stuff is here. She tends to buy things without wearing them. She really needs to watch that. Your old jacket, it's small. You should donate it. Bring it with you? Why not? How fabulous do I look? Is that a pimple? I hope not. I want to go back to sleep. How dare you? All right. Well, next time we'll be at school. So I hope you're enjoying this little uh, visual novel so far. Uh, apparently we got our monster dude thing face named Jackal. And he's a lot more humanoid than I expected. But um, I hope you're enjoying. Let me know in a comment or like below. That way I know how enthusiastic you all are about a series. Otherwise I can just peruse other things. I do have some other stuff in the works. But this is my visual novel for now. Hope you stay sweet and stay in school. Kind of. Not all the time. But sometimes. <laughs> Bye.